Click the links to send me stuff. Are there comics without propaganda? Not that many. Think of comics as strategic ground critical for the culture war. Social justice warriors control, I don't know, 99% of the market. Comicsgate and the other non-NPC indie comics make up a few percentage of the output. But that number is growing. People are so sick of soy comics that they're willing to pay $35 for Comicsgate stuff. For example, I read a recent Archie, and it was a Archie and Katie Keene, the new mystery girl comes to town, fashion designer. Oh, but there was an alt cover by Billy Tucci, so that was kind of cool. But I started thinking to myself, well, what are the odds that this chick is going to have a, um, is going to have a dick? Well, since it's current year, I'd say the odds are pretty good. They'll tease it out as a cute girl. Archie falls head over heels, but then she whips out her ten inches of lady dick. Blow me, Archie. You're not a bigot, are you? It's transphobic not to take a hot load of diversity all over your face. Maybe Archie will come out as trans also, and they can be lesbians. Oh, yeah, this is uh, not safe for work or for kids. So, uh, F off. I won't swear, but it's going to be offensive content. I read X-Men Red number 11, and don't worry, the antagonist was a blue-eyed guy out of German central casting. He was bald, but if he had hair, he would be blonde. I noticed that there are certain groups that are off-limits in mainstream comics. I don't know if I can say them too often without the algorithm bending me over. I say hot words all the time, so I'm probably on their wrong-think list. After the revolution, it will be the gulag for me, but at least there won't be any more comics. Maybe Ethan will finally send me my cyberfrog. Actually, he'll probably be in the next cell. He... Oh, I'll leave out that joke about prison rape. Um, X-Men Red, uh, Vagina Edition, is basically blonde man is violent and dangerous, but POCs and whammon must stop him and fix him. You know, if you want to treat people equally, that means that you have to treat people equally. You expletive deleted. The off-limit, most protected class that will never be violent terrorists are the very people who actually are violent terrorists. The three most protected groups are the, oh boy, he gonna say it, Ms. Obama, get down, quick, call the ADL in car. Never mind. My point is that you have to make the bad guys Arabs, Jews, Asians, Africans, because that is equality. It's a little insulting. You're saying that these groups are so fragile they can't handle being treated equally. Deep down, the NPCs know that I am right. But even if they wanted to, they couldn't, and they don't want to. They really are drinking the Kool-Aid. Even if the writer wanted to swap out an Irishman for a Chinaman, the editors just wouldn't let him. And if he pushed for actual equality, he'd get his ass kicked in the lunchroom. No equality allowed at Marvel. Give us purse puppies or GTFO. Oh, and they go to new depths in making women as flat-chested as possible. If you're going to make the chicks look like twinks, why not just use dudes? The woke people... The woke people... They, they believe that boys can be girls, so the women are drawn as masculine and ugly as possible, and the dudes are shorter and thinner. Everyone is androgynous and pat-looking. I uh, looked at my analytics, so I know that you all know who Pat was. I would die happy if Saturday Night Live brought Pat back. A million blue checkmark pussies would cry out in soy-filled rage, then they'd have to go back to dilating the artificial wounds that their bodies are trying to heal. You know that we live in the end of days when we celebrate humans destroying working organs and people call it stunning and brave? To be honest, I think it's crazy when chicks get boob jobs. Your titties are fine the size they are. Stop reading Cosmo. The plot. You're probably wondering what the plot is. The plot is Trump derangement syndrome that made these people insane. Don't get me wrong, they were always racist, misandrist, Marxist. But after the God Emperor got elected, they stopped pretending to be anything but commies. It was very difficult for me to pay attention to a bunch of boobless lesbians who hate men. I mean, I don't think I'm alone here in saying that TNA is a good thing. Sex sells. The plot is basically that Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn and their transgender hero crew must fight the blue-eyed character who is either an analog for Trump or for Adolf, but they're pretty much the same guy, am I right? I mean, what with the Obama drone-striking kids and putting little Mexican criminals in cages, 
Oh, what's that? Obama who? You, you don't want to talk about Obama? Okay, fine. Here's a trick when reading comics. If you see blue eyes, just assume that he's the bad guy. If you see a woman, then she's probably the hero. You know who the women are by their B-cups and lack of butt. Oh, there are some gay transgender robots in here. Hold on. You think I'm kidding about that? I'm not. I don't. Can you see that? Let me get rid of this light and reflection. Can you see the um, the robot in the in the um, top top of the screen? Take a close look. I I didn't draw this in. My skills aren't that good. <laughs> That's a gay transgender robot with rainbow flags. Uh, they use their skills as power bottoms to accomplish great things in the comics Castro Sex Club. Then Trump beats up women and burns the rainforest to barbecue some Mexican children before crashing the Exxon Valdez and raping some spotted owls. Oh, then he deploys his hate speech powers and says, and I quote, That's where you belong, where your entire race belongs, in the ground. Because you can't let a moment in a comic book go by without some racist propaganda cliché. He either has blue eyes or green eyes when they show his eye color, because of course he does. But little does blonde Trump suspect, but he's going to get some diversity and cultural enrichment. I mean, it may look like violence, but that's just fascist propaganda put out by Fox News. Then a breastless lesbian mind rapes him, which incidentally looks a lot like cultural enrichment. Don't worry, there's no danger of the dreaded male gaze, because everyone in comics is effing ugly as sin. <sighs> oh, what's that? A cups? Just, just make men. Just make your comic characters all men. Um, then Captain Marvel experiences what looks like, judging from her facial expression, some backhole love, which I would assume that she was very familiar with, if you know what I mean. Just saying that I expect a future issue will have Captain Marvel come out as a dude in a wig and lipstick. Except in the Cap Captain Marvel comic itself, which actually I think is cancelled by now. I think it got to like a dozen issues and then it uh, went bye-bye. In that comic, she was bla uh, dating a black dude. But if you make her a dude, that means that the black dude is gay, which is like an unwritten rule violation in mainstream comics. But I thought being gay was totally cool and everything. Oh, 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 it is, it is, it is. So um, why not make a black or Muslim, Jewish, Chinese as the gay character or person of gayness? Um, well, er, uh, that's a good question. Hey, look, shiny object. Jokes aside, mainstream comics treat gayness as a negative. Have some balls, Marvel. Make Carol a dude who's banging his gay black boyfriend. If that happens, black Twitter would get pissed. But I thought uh, rooster sucking was neutral. So why not make a gay trans Muslim? Because you're effing hypocrites who are so full of garbage it's coming out of your eyes. Notice how I didn't swear there. Then there are several scenes where bald Trump is portrayed as small, deformed, ugly, and childlike. While the uh, chick is tall and imposing. And for this one scene, is this the right scene? Yeah, it is. Just squinky dink. Um, in a weird Freudian nightmare... They gave her big mammary glands to turn her into a mother figure and Trump as a baby. They put Mr. Blue Eyes on his knees, just totally submissive. Why not just make it X-rated so she can bend him over and take to him with a strap on? The scene has the big-titted mother god with the sun peeking out of the clouds behind her. The sun god symbolism is pretty heavy-handed. But what would happen if you reversed everything? A big, masculine, male god with a submissive, tiny woman. The Twitter idiots would lose their minds. And oh my god, what if it was a colored woman of color with colors who was the submissive and small, who had to be helped out by the patriarchy? Basically, it's a bunch of women doing girl power stuff. But I don't care about girl power stuff. I think it's kind of silly. Yes, I know that you will call me an istophobic sexist, but remember that I can't be sexist, because I am also a woman who think women in these roles is boring. Women like titties and ass. Why are you denying me my toxic femininity? How do I say this? 
comics suck now. They have sucked for years. By that, I mean that there are many more bad comics than good ones. And here's the thing with so many bad stories written by woke a-holes. The reader is constantly waiting for the other woke shoe to drop. Always waiting for the F. Whitey moment because it always comes. Always. Even if you ignore the racist stuff, which is pretty hard to ignore, it's just bad storytelling. It's no fun to read a story where every single time you see the blonde, blue-eyed guy, you know that he's going to be a vile, malicious stereotype. It's the equivalent of seeing someone in blackface singing zippity doo dah Back then, that type of racism was acceptable. Now, people rightfully call it out. People are going to look at the current racism and recoil in horror. I know it sounds funny, but that's what people thought back then, that it was just harmless jokes. Can we just bring on World War III already and get it over with? Ah, oh, your lips to God's ears. I don't know if you're even looking at this, but Mr. Blue Eyes is on his knees, submissive, childlike, and Mrs. Memory glands. For the one scene, they gave her big old, big old jugs to um, uh, just weird, sick, sick, sick stuff. I don't even know if they consciously think of this stuff. I mean, it seems pretty obvious to me, having just you know, given this comic the quickest, quickest read through and picking up on the just the most basic, basic things of the. Uh, uh, the goddess, the big big boob fertility goddess woman coming out of the clouds in the sun. I mean, it's a kind of a, I mean, it's a cliche image, but it's effective. But if you didn't read comic books, you would think this was oh, yeah, effective girl power. Girl power is kind of cool, right? All this, you know, all this women power. If you read like as comics as often as I do, or just even if you read just a comic a week, a couple comics a month, you would quickly pick up on this and you say, wait a minute, why? Why do they really seem to hate people of European descent, or at least belittle belittle them and demonize them and humiliate? Oh, okay, okay. This she has a speech at the UN, and um, I can't, I can't. Um, uh, she has a speech at the UN. Um, I I can't get through the video without swearing and cut and read this speech at the UN. But it's the uh, Anita Sarkeesian and Zoe Quinn moment of uh. Open your borders. Globalism is good. Where did my breast go? <sighs> okay, okay. This kind of stuff. I swear, this this stuff is making me is making me insane. Uh, I was listening to Yellow Flash the other day, and he was talking about comics, and he's saying, you know, they're just they're not fun anymore. Well, they haven't been fun for years, and it's always the rule. Somebody, there's some kind of rule. It doesn't matter if it's music or anything it's like you know 95 percent of it's not going to be very good and five percent of it's going to be the, the top of the food chain it's just like that with comics and literature and science fiction everything it's like that fair enough but comics is more like 99 percent is just this racist misandrist stereotypical anti people of european descent hatred hatred of men it's just bizarre bizarre hatred that is so acceptable because the people who write it, the people who edit it, the, the, all the people who control the companies, they're racist assholes. There's no, no other way. You can't do racism day in, day out for a decade and not be called what you are. Just a racist a-hole. Anyway, uh, like, comment, subscribe, guys. You can send me stuff at biancazombie602 at gmail.com. Send me art for the channel. If you want a sports channel, you can buy a coffee or a t-shirt or whatever, whatever. Um, or send me comics if you want me to review them. And if you put your links to your Indiegogo project, your Kickstarter, your crowdfunder, your Amazon, whatever, put your links in the uh, comments below. And the first one to put their links in, I'll pin it so YouTube won't hide your comments because they don't like links. But uh, if I pin it, it'll show up. Anyway, guys, I will see you all next episode.